road trip. Not even five miles from our front door. Camp out in Tiki and Tori. So I'm all happy now because I'm actually eating my food. Uh, it was um, hangry. I was. It was, I was hangry. Hangry. I, hangry with the other campers. I, I am annoyed with that camper, to be honest. He's like, it's my island. Yeah. Not when I flown it, fly the drone into his window. Mm. No, I won't. Anyway. It's so steamy in here. Anybody driving past are going to think we've come up here dogging. That's right. Ten pound trip trip. <laughs> so, finally, we're actually up here and we are actually finally getting to stealth camp that we've been trying for God knows how long, isn't it? Mm. I've camped up here unintentionally at probably 16 years old and passed out under a gorse bush because this is actually my stomping ground. <laughs> a bit like last weekend. We used to swim in this quarry pool, would you believe it or not? Yeah, I believe you. We actually let a canoe with somebody sat in it go off the side of the hill and let them into the water. It was an epic <laughs> fail. <laughs> That's awesome. We did. We pulled the canoe up the bank, got somebody sat in it and let him go. Well, if I'd known that, I would have brought the kayak with me. Like that. It's inflatable kayak. It wouldn't do the same. This was a hard canoe, so it slid straight over the top of all the gorse bushes. Fine. <laughs> Sploshed into the quarry pool. <laughs> epic. Anyway, so we're in Tory eating our chips because I literally threw everything that we kind of need. I think we've got everything that we need, but it's only for a night and it's literally down the road. Six miles away from the house. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, everything's just thrown in tiki, so we're eating the chips here. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> right. We'll see you when the... Everything's all set up. We're going to try and do a stealth light campfire. Shh. Might do, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, right. can eat my chips now. See you later. Here you go, Mrs. Dub. Bye. You happy now? Good, good. So I think we finally set up for the night. Mrs. Dub has gone somewhere. Here she is. Shots fired. Look at Mrs. Dub's photo. Oh, well done. It's the only good thing Samson's are good for. I've been photographs. in the underground. Like that, like that a lot. So it is very dark up here, but we've got the moon, we've got the stars, it's awesome. And we've kind of got the fire going, whether it stays lit or not, I don't know, but we will find out. So we're just gonna chill and relax now for a little while and have a cuppa, because we're really hardcore. And then chill out in bed. Well, we'll see you a bit later. So what were you saying? So, thanks for lifting the bed up and getting those seats out of the bed. This is so much yeah. cooler. These seats. She made me, after I put the bed together, she made me lift the whole bed to go and get the seats out. That she's now not sitting in. Because no, she's can't. sitting in Tiki. This is where I'm sitting. Oh, yeah. My little feet don't even touch the step, look. No, oh, and I did miss a video <laughs> moment. She went to jump in and she fell straight back out. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like James trying to jump up on the sofa. <laughs> yeah, a <little> bit. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so... Since I've been off gallivanting all day with the rock god, what have you been up to? Uh, wouldn't you like to know? Well, that's why I asked. Um, I've been to see 
my grandchildren. Oh. Because I have pharyngitis. Tonsillitis without any tonsils, that be. Um, all week. Pharyngitis. Pharyngitis, that's the one. I said it how it looks. It's because it's your pharynx. Oh, uh, you know all of that. I've been a singer, haven't you? Yes. Pharynx, hairdresser. There's nothing like pharynx. Anyway, I haven't seen the boys for a couple of weeks, so um, I was going to do a bit of studying on my semester course, which I didn't know. I've done 10 hours of that this week. I've been back to work in between being poorly, so I went down to see the boys and had a day at Kaylee's and Reese's. Debbie rocked up. Kaylee cooked us all bacon and egg sandwiches. Nice. Um, anything else you'd like to know about my day? No. No, no, that'll, that'll do. We're all bored now. Yeah, would have gone on a skip run with Kaylee, only she was going just before the skip shut. If she'd have gone like an hour earlier. Mate, I said we were bored now. I'd have gone to the pub and watched the Grand National. But the last time I said I'm only popping to the pub for an hour was disastrous. <laughs> <laughs> so, ding at the pub, ding at the shop. Just went to see Kaylee. Yeah, well, I had a really cool day. She's been with the rock on. Rock on, yeah. That was wrong. That's right. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just where's that's my home. That's B dub. <laughs> that's rock god. And that's husband B one. Wow. Um yeah, so that was cool. Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. Who used to do that? Always give to ten. Three, two, one. Oh mate, I can't deal with you. What was it? Three, two, one. What was that off? Um yeah, I can't remember. You'd do it though. Yeah. I can't with this hand because it's got Gimpy Finn. Take my hand. Name that movie. Do you know what that's off? Yes. Do you know what that's off? <gasps> Answers at the bottom. Yeah, it's a bit like being out here. It's scary. Yeah, and it's a movie. Oh, <laughs> so. Take my hand. Uh, Nobody there. Told you. Nothing in there, is there, Mr. Duff? <laughs> no. Yeah. Fried. Uh, no, I'm not angry. I'm just chilled now. No, you're just chilled. Just chilled. It's my company's not good enough after the rock god. No. He's bored now. You're not, you're not celebrity enough. Wow. Got nothing else to say now. No, I'm upset about that. I might go for a walk. <laughs> so, Mrs. Dub decided to light a candle and have it on the bed. That's not a fire hazard at all, is it? That sounded so wrong. Lit a candle and decided to have it on the bed. Oh, see what you did there? Um, it's not a fire hazard as long as you know it's there. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's quite far away, like two foot from the furry roof and the furry wall. Are you feeling all right? It's on a furry blanket. <laughs> it's fine. I'm, oh, hello. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, don't fart. That's it. I'm all right. Tori's next door if we burn Tiki down. Hi, Tori. Because at the moment, you've just bought her for your toilet facilities, and I think that's shocking. You put a beautiful photo <laughs> on Facebook, and Tiki is just... Tori is just the toilet for Tiki. Mm -hmm. Should we start calling it toilet then? Toilet Tori? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tiki the little blue slat. Yes. No. <laughs> Tori's got all her curtains in and she's just sat there like waiting for somebody to go and pee in her basically. Just rude. It's her first camp out and nobody in there with her. She'll be alright. Shall we... Shall I sleep in there and you sleep in here and we text each other? <laughs> I would say it's contraception, but I have no ovaries. <laughs> oh, me. Three of the vans are pretty camping, aren't they? Yeah, there's a few, few people up here, to be fair. Ah, it's nice though, isn't it? Just, you can't beat this life. Have you got that camera on your face or on mine? It's on yours, not mine. <laughs> Little weirdo. Yeah, look at that view out the door, mate. <coughs> the green light in the sky. The demons were here all along. They're not devils, they're Martians. There. She's dead. Buried under the rubble. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. 
The chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one, he said. And the chances of Samantha being shot in the head is quite big. Probably better odds than that than there was on the Grand National today, mate. <laughs> Ah, oh, I'm proper chilled. No, Nathaniel. Oh, shit, here she goes again. Oh, no, Nathaniel, no. There must be more to life. There has to be a way... That he can to... shoot his wife. Come <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rich, sing it. What's that coming over the hill? <laughs> okay. The green flash in the sky. <gasps> the puffy magic dragon. <laughs> Shh. It's afraid. Some time later. <clears throat> right then. Yes. Dominoes, Mr. Dub. We're playing dominoes. Playing dominoes. Yeah. Dumb in those. Because I've had to teach them how to. Bleeding nose. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Come on, Gwyneth. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Dub. Thanks. Blankety blank. You are blank, yes. Who's going first? Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Go on, you go. You go first. No, let's do rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> no. It's <laughs> special. You can only go on the end. Oh, mate. Unless it's a double and then you can go in the middle. Oh, I can't. I still can't. I can't. I just did. I just pull up the choice which one to play. I'll do this. Does that help? So I have got too many to worry about. No, don't worry. No? Be fair. No. Pick it up. Yes. About that. Blankly blank. Yeah, I could have gone <laughs> plenty of times. Bastard. I mean, oh, Mr. Dub, that was naughty. Uh, that's okay. Thank you, Mrs. Dub wins with a double six. <sighs> Boom. <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> Getting down and dirty with some transformers. We're going to build our cars. Be right back. Yeah. It's noisy. Yeah, it's a bit windy. Mm. Uh, it's a lot windy out there. Yeah. Small. Oh, bit you and you. you no, know, no, it's small again. Small. Small. Mm. So, in this bedtime now, that's what it looks like anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's about all I have to say about that. Oh, Mr. Dove usually goes on and on at bedtime. He's like, so we've done this and we've done that. He just cannot be asked tonight, can you? I don't give a shit, mate. I've been with a rock god all day. Yeah. We've been playing caddies. Mm. So. I've got a caddy anyway. You but you've turned into like a, a toilet tonight. <laughs> for that yes you do have a caddy it's a tour run but it's a caddy with windows yes caddy with windows yes <laughs> it's like caddy with, with, with windows caddy with windows that's what i said are you feeling all right
No. I just want a caddy. <laughs> you wouldn't feel all right if you like him. <laughs> I gave you those painkillers ready. You didn't even want any. I was like, no, you're going to, mate. On that note, couldn't go to sleep now because we're going to try and get up. <laughs> He's not getting up anywhere after that. We're going to try and get up for 6.30, is it, when the oh, sun shit. rises? I've changed my mind about that. Right, and, oh, um, oh, oh, poo. Oh, yeah, we're going to get up and watch a beautiful sunrise. See you tomorrow. When we're up at, at some point. Say goodnight, Mrs. Dub. Good night, Mrs. Dub. <laughs> What are you saying? Good morning. Good morning. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we didn't get up to watch the sunrise because, well, well yeah. we kind of did. Yeah, kind of. Set the alarm, looked out at ten past six, and it was like a sea of fog. So we couldn't watch it rising. The nothing is coming. The nothing. A trail. A trail. Great film. Yeah. Um, so, and then I had a little look out the window at eight o'clock, and it was blazing sunshine. Like this. Yeah. Or like this. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, ooh. Wow. Time to get up now, make a bacon sandwich, cup of tea. I'm going to walk up to the big golf ball. Oh, excuse me. Walk up to the big golf ball. Okay. Let's go. And then I want to go home because I want to build Tori's bed. Been to B and Q Friday night. Got all the wood ready for Tory's bed building. I thought you were going to say build a bear then. No, I don't want to build a bear. I want to build a bed. Oh. Okay. And then we're going to build a bear to find a Tory bear to go on the bed. No. No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Should, should we just get up and, and just make cuppa first? Yes. Because I really need a cuppa. Yes. What are you doing? I'm building her tempe prototype bifolding bed. 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 That was very posh. But before. I'm having some shorty biscuits with that cup of coffee. Okay. So last time we were up the, the Dewstone and we went walking up here. Mrs. Dub fell down and she was raving because I didn't I didn't go to help her I reached for my phone instead to get photographs and a video <laughs> so taking a cup of tea and because I can't be bothered to go and find my, my spoon I've got my screwdriver it works well it really does <laughs> see this is what gives us people when we cannot camp in and do in stealth camps. Bad reputations where we've literally just had a quick look round, empty cans. So we're packing up other people's crap and taking it home with us and disposing of it properly. Now people, if you are gonna do this kind of thing, just pick up your rubbish and take it with you. And then we'll all be able to enjoy and not have these restrictions where you can't camp here because you're messing up this lovely scenery. Just stop it. Simples.
So it is pack up time now for us with other people's rubbish and ours, of course. And here's Mrs. Dab. Well, we're just kind of slinging in into the vans at the moment. And uh, yeah. What did you say? We're just kind of slinging it into the vans rather than properly packing up. We'll do it when we get home. Yes. So. All the way home. Six minutes? Yeah. So there was a nice, nice little camp out here, to be Pretty fair. Sure. Couldn't have asked for nicer weather, to be fair. No, we couldn't really. Couldn't. Uh, really nice. I think we'll, uh, we'll thank that person for not letting us get on last night and uh, say we had a better spot. Do what? And he said we'll uh, thank that guy that wouldn't allow us on in that spot last night to enter where we wanted to go. This yeah, was this worked out much better, to be honest. Yeah, we've walked around that corner and it's really windy. It's really sheltered here. Yeah. So there you go, guys. That's another stealth camp done. So we'll, you've got to sit down. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the little video that we've made of our little stealth camp up here. Um, yes, we finally made it. We did. It's taken months, but we did. So we'll see you on another one soon. Say goodbye, Mr. Dub. Bye, Mr. Dub. Bye-bye. So before we go, Mrs. Dub, the tyre is a little bit flat but it's only on the bottom so we're gonna pump that up before we get on our way home yeah. bye juice down bye bye